Let me tell you about a little wildlife rescue mission that we're going to be trying today. Somewhere down here in this bush is a little family of mongooses. There must be maybe 30 and they visit here just about daily and observe that one of the little critters has got a piece of plastic. It looks to me to be a, an electrical cable tie but the plastic is trapped around its throat. It's not in any kind of trouble yet. Um, it's very feisty, it's running with the pack and uh, has a good scrap over some food if it's, if it's given some. So we're going to see if we can entice him into a net and help get that collar off before it does in some damage or gets hooked on a branch in the thorns somewhere in the bush and it becomes the end of him. He, that thing needs to come off. Where it's going to happen? Um, for a couple of days now we've been giving them uh, what amounts to the doggy bag right here on this mat just outside the door and this with a view to to keeping them here and getting them accustomed to our our presence uh, while we work the plot to to unfortunately net this little fella it's one of those uh, cruel to be kind things you know I don't have the kit to do this so we went and got a net from a mate down the road Rory and he's lent us this fishing net anyway and I've got some strong shears ready some scissors to, to cut the, the plastic off and then some really tough welding gloves and reason for the gloves is that these fillers could have a, a dangerous in fact a nasty butt they've been known to be rabid um, and I have no doubt that when I get my hands around him he's going to go bananas so hence the need for the gloves and the idea will be to have the net right here throw some food in as he goes in slam it closed and do what we've got to do hold thumbs let's hope that it all works are they waiting? which which shall I get? these or these or these? I think the kitchen ones, in fact. Please. Hello, little guys. Hello, little guys. There you are with a collar. We yes. When you get that collar off you, yeah, we can't leave that collar on. There we go. Where's the food? Here. Ah. Nice chicken bones for you. Right, the idea is to put the food in from your side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, who's going to be brave enough? They are lightning quick. Here he comes, right. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold the bone here. So that on the camera then you can watch. Bagger. They're too sharp. Here he comes, here he comes. That's great to see that. Phew. What a noise. What it was this? Looking back. <laughs> you know what it is? I don't it's the seal from around from around a bottle. A, a, a plastic, you know, the, the new bottle seal. Get that. 
But well done, Squeeze. We did well. And I've added some food up to we did, them there. We did a good job. Come on. Come on. Now we don't even know which one it is. I, I think, think it's him. Can you believe it? I think that's him. It was. Because <laughs> you can see the crease in the fur. No so, way. So there he's right back again after making all that noise. <laughs> Oh, there we are. We did it. And I must say that my heart is still pounding a bit. Um, it, the noise and the frenetic behavior of that mongoose, I, I don't blame it. And a uh, shame, I, uh, the Maud screamed, the Tatra held it. I hope I didn't hurt it. But, um, I realized partway through that I'm holding it a tad tut. So, but nevertheless, it bolted off. And, and then can you believe came back looking for some more of the of the morsels and that that was the greatest relief is that it's okay it hasn't freaked out too badly and it was just fantastic to know that we've saved it from any further danger the the plastic would certainly have got it into trouble so that's off we sorted and i think a little celebratory something might be in order see you